If you are in digital marketing, at some point in time, a client, somebody is going to ask you about billboards. Should you still advertise on billboards today in our digital world? This episode, I'm gonna go through some math so that we can solve this problem once and for all. Stick around, let's go right now. I feel like I was a little too excited for that intro, guys, but I am in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. I've had an amazing day. I've been shooting some YouTube content, checking things out here. Really excited, going to announce some things soon coming up for Victoria. Stay tuned for more information on that. Now, billboards. I was driving down the Vancouver Island and even through BC, there's a ton of billboards on the side of the road. I'll get some GoPro footage in a second here where you'll see some of the ones that I passed. And it came up again, I've, I've answered this question a lot in my career, is does it still make sense to advertise on billboards in comparison to digital ads? The answer is yes and no. Let me explain. All right, let's start with billboards first. When I look at and break it down, I've always said with advertising, we're looking for a couple things. One, we're looking for, is it to the right demographic? Two is what is the per impression cost? And three is what is the conversion value from that advertising spend that we're gonna put into it? So on a, just a per impression basis, let's say that a billboard is gonna cost $1,000 a month. $1,000, yes, we can do a lot on digital with that. But at the same time, the metrics of that billboard is gonna have 50,000 people see it. We do the math on that, that comes out to a two cents per impression number. It's gonna cost two cents for every person that drives by our billboard. Now, there are some other factors that you have to factor in, like not everyone's gonna see the billboard. Some people aren't gonna pay attention. Some people aren't gonna see your billboard, they're gonna only see the one that's beside it. Maybe we don't factor that in today, but it is factors you're gonna to have to consider when getting that billboard. Where is it located? Is it highly visible? Is it digital or is it still old print billboards? What are those options? Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a screenshot from my recent YouTube ads that I've been running. Now let's look at this campaign right here. It gets roughly two cents per view in North America and the cost per impression is a lot lower than that because the ad serves to a lot of people before they view it. So maybe we're looking at about a quarter of that or half a cent, maybe a quarter cent per impression. So if we try to compare apples to apples, the cost per impression is a lot cheaper on digital still. But if we're looking at and saying that everyone driving by is going to have a pretty good view of the billboard and we look at the views on my YouTube videos, it's about the same. We're, we're comparing about two cents to two cents. So if we look at it that way, billboards can make sense in today's world. In today's digital world, I could still buy a billboard if it made sense for a client. One other pro of billboards is the relative cost per impression has stayed relatively level over a long period of time. Billboards, depending on location, will cost anywhere from two cents to five cents per impression. That has stayed stable. On the other hand, with digital ads, digital ads are becoming more expensive the more people get on it, the more people are trying to advertise. What that means is in the next five to 10 years, if digital ads keep coming up, you're gonna see a lot of businesses go back to buying billboards where that cost per impression is still gonna be around two, three cents. So I'll ask the question again, should you buy a billboard right now? Yes, no, maybe. I'm gonna put one more thing in consideration. With billboards, it's very hard to track the conversion which at the end of the day is where you can present ROI to a client or if you're in a marketing department, where you're gonna present ROI to your company. The only way to do it through billboards is either having a unique URL on the billboard or a unique phone number that can be tracked, something that allows you to track how many calls, how many leads you're getting from it. With digital, we can measure everything. How many clicks, how many people actually converted into a sale. We can capture them in an audience, get more value from it, try to get them to subscribe. There's more opportunities to add them and get them into that conversion point, get them into our CRM, than through a billboard. Now, does that mean you should never buy a billboard? Again, no. There is a time and a place, there are specific businesses and niches where a billboard makes sense. If you have a business that's been thinking about putting out billboards, put that niche in the comments below. I'll let you know what I think about your niche and if it makes sense. 
And whatever you do, whenever you're negotiating for a billboard, make sure you're comparing that cost per impression to what a digital ad would be on the platforms of your choice. Just make an informed decision. It's going to help you get more out of your marketing spend. I know marketing dollars are tough in this pandemic, COVID-19 type era. So utilize them well, pick really good marketing spend. It's going to help you keep that business, keep those leads coming right down the pipeline. That is it for this episode. Coming at you from, again, Victoria, BC, Canada. I'm going to shoot a couple more YouTube videos in this location. I hope you guys are getting value. If you have any feedback for me, make sure you put it in the comments below and smash like or dislike, whatever you guys think. Hope to see you guys in the next episode. That's all for now.